welcome back to my channel. It's Karen, Lavender Clothesline. For those of you who don't know me, I am a full-time reseller, a new YouTube creator, and I also sell on Facebook Marketplace, offer up, and I have an Instagram account, all the things, all the time. So thank you so much for joining in. Today I have a mixed video. I have some clothing hanging on the rack I'm hoping to get to, hard goods over on the side, and a few little subjects I wanted to cover. For those of you who are looking at my Instagram posts, I usually post a couple of times a week at least to say what I'm doing, little tips, fun other entrepreneurs I find and meet, and deals. So the first thing I wanna talk about is I source mainly in central Pennsylvania. Now I do travel and source sometimes out of state, but mostly I am sourcing here in central Pennsylvania. The Goodwills that I shop at are in the Keystone area. I'm not sure how many Goodwills um, participate or are in that district, but it's quite a few. And Goodwill Keystone area puts out a promotion that I wait for, I get very excited for. This is the promotion where you buy a gift card and you get a free gift card. So you buy $50 in gift cards and they give you $10 gift card free with no limit. So I posted on Instagram last year and I'm taking advantage of the promotion again this year where you buy a gift card and you get the free gift card. This gift card I bought is $5,000. Yep, I spent $5,000 on this little card. And for that, I get a free $1,000 that I can spend uh, with no expiration date in any Goodwill that's in the Keystone area, if all of that makes sense. So this is an exceptional value in my opinion. When you spend $5,000 and get $1,000 in free merchandise, and you can use the free card um, for any sale. You can use it during their 50 off promo and turn it into $2,000. That is an excellent promotion in my, in my mind. So because Goodwill is successful with this promotion, I feel like they're always gonna keep doing it or they're gonna be doing it for a while. It does come out once a year. It comes out right between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I put away that capital to participate in this deal. So I am setting aside that money all year long in anticipation of this deal. So you can go ahead and ask your Goodwill. Some Goodwills do this, a lot don't. But I wanted to bring it to your attention because I think this is a phenomenal opportunity and one that I hope they never end. I love this deal. Last year, I had both of these cards uh, spent by, I want to say by April or May. So although I shop in a lot of stores, not only Goodwill, I'm in community thrift, mom and pop, church thrift store. I stop at any thrift store I can find and a lot of them become my favorites with a few being my honey holes that I don't share. But I just wanted to bring this to your attention and answer your questions, those few questions for those of you who have been asking about this promotion. So that's that promotion. The next subject I want to cover, I've covered it before, but I want to hit on it one more time, is the idea of how to ensure all of your inventory when you store within your house. So as many of you know, I am presently at about 5,000 items stored in my basement. I've been making videos about that. And in 2020, I am really starting the big push to move towards storing 8,000 items. Many of you have been concerned about insurance. What happens, you know, with a natural disaster or any kind of disaster when you store that kind of inventory in your house? So my insurance company, my regular homeowner's insurance company is willing and insures my inventory. So what you do is you go on your eBay seller dashboard and you scroll down. On your dashboard, you're gonna see a number for what your total inventory listed is worth. eBay gives you that number. They'll give you the total of the value of your items that you have on their site. You take that number, I always use like 120,000 as an example, because mine is around there, and you give that number to your insurance company along with what your equipment uh, your office, anything you use for your office, your furniture, you give those numbers for replacement costs to your insurance company along with your seller dashboard number for what your inventory is worth. 
they take that number and they give you a quote of what your premium will be to include that insurance along with your house insurance policy. So that's what happens. Um, that's what I've looked into. That's what I've done. And I hope that helps. I hope that relieves anybody's fears like, what if your house burns? You not only lose your home, which you know is insured, but you lose all your inventory. So you can go ahead and ask your insurance company how it works. And I'm sure all house insurance companies would probably, I shouldn't say all, but most of them would give you that insurance coverage. So that answers that question, I hope. I what else do I have to talk about? I think that's it. You can see half a wreath hanging on the wall behind me. I do pick up a few personal items while I'm shopping. Shopping, of course, they throw things in the cart that will not only be a great value for what I'm looking for, but sometimes it's things that I love, I use for a while, and then I flip. So I'm going to show you the first item of what I picked up and we'll get started. I hope this sunshine isn't bothering anybody too much. It's really sunny here and I'm in front of my front window, so you might see some of the shadow cast, but we're just gonna push through and hopefully the video will come out okay. This item that I found is new in box. This is Southern Living at Home. I believe this is Walmart. It's either Walmart or Kmart. I'm gonna guess Walmart. It's just a box of six ornaments from Walmart or Southern Home Living. You guys can correct me if I have that wrong, but these ornaments are gorgeous. This is a ball ornament and they are very heavy. So this one is the mercury glass, just stunning with a crackle finish and kind of like an engraved top, cap top. So it comes in the mercury, it comes in a frosted look. And you know what? I just found a Christmas hook. So these are not new, I did not know that but still in gorgeous condition. So that shows that it is used. And the other one is like a milk glass. It's like opalescent milk glass. I thought these were beautiful. I love them. Just realized there's a card in here. Um, I am not seeing if they are listing this as Walmart, but that's what I imagine this to be. So first item, six ornaments, great weight, great, really nice quality. And I paid $5 for them. Now this year, I don't think I'm putting up a tree. A lot of years I do, most years I put up a tree, but this year I've decided to decorate in other ways. So these will either hang from my mantle or um, just be in a bowl sitting. And I thought I'd give myself a break from putting up a tree this year, enjoy all the trees out in public. There are just so many of them. Last night I went to Lancaster downtown. I went there last night and the night before with friends and had a great time, had dinner out and looked at the tree in the center square. and. Yeah, so I can enjoy other people's trees and not put one up this year, but still decorate and make my home feel festive. All right, I am just gonna start grabbing items. We're gonna get through this. There's no order, there's no organization, there's no nothing today because I am running full steam. And I just wanna show you a couple of the things I found. So first off in linens, I always check linens in the thrift stores. This is a golf towel. Let me see if I can stand back. Oh, this light is gonna kill me today. And it is Cadillac, it's got the Cadillac symbol. And the way you can tell it's a golf towel, it has a grommet and it has this loop, this, I don't know what these are called, it's like a, and you hang this on your, on your golf bag. So two of them, they look to be brand new and I believe I paid 250 for the two. I'm going to say probably 250 so I thought these were great. I think any golf towel that has a good quality emblem, whether it's I've had Mercedes, what else have I had? Um, I can't remember what are the ones, but a lot of times they're car logos. And I bet you these will sell. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put them on for yet. I didn't run comps. Guys, this was definitely a shopping trip where I didn't look at one comp. I went, I threw things in my cart. I had other things to do that day. And I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I'm hoping they bring great profit. So good find. The next item I found was this cute guy. It's a little, a little stark eyed, a little starry eyed. He is a cookie jar. I believe this is made in a mold shop. So somebody painted, that's my guess. I don't know that he's vintage. He has no marking on the bottom. And Schnauzer, Scotty Dog, that's my guess. I have no idea, but I figured he was really cute. Great shape. I don't see any chips on him. 
but I paid three dollars for this so I thought that was a good find and no I hate shipping breakables especially during fourth quarter but I just ignore that and I put it in my cart put my big girl pants on and get it done the next item I want to show is an ashtray this is Dave and Buster's I found a few things from Dave & Buster's, so I imagine they have a gift store. I don't know that I've been to Dave & Buster's, but I know it's, you know, it's a very frequented place, um, an amusement place, so I figured somebody would want it. And is there a date? There is no date on here. I'm not sure if Dave & Buster's is only sold at Dave & Buster's or if there are other companies selling this. I paid $2. It's an ashtray, which I thought was interesting because are people smoking at Dave & Buster's? I wasn't quite sure if this was just for home use or, or if there's like a smoking lounge there. But $2, I said yes, great shape. It is a navy blue with a gold trim. So I said yes to this ashtray. The next item I found, I didn't even realize what it was. Uh, I saw the Kate Spade name, as you can see. Hope you guys can see this with all this sunlight today. And it is a folio hard case. That's all I've got. So I'm not even sure what this is for. iPad, iPod, something, I have no idea. So I said yes to this. And I believe I paid $1.99 for this. So I said yes. The next item I went back and forth on a little bit, this is a Harley Davidson. I'm gonna call it a crossbody. I believe this is worn on your person. I don't think this clips to the bike. I don't see any way it would. I could be wrong about that because I'm not a biker, but it has the Harley Davidson embossed logo. And when you open it up, it's just like a little, a little barrel bag. And I bought this for $6.99 which is a little bit high for a handbag for me, unless I'm really knowing the comps. If I really know the value of a handbag, I will spend accordingly. But this I had no idea, but I figured Harley Davidson is a sought after name and this would sell. As many of you know, I'm not a quick flipper, so I don't only go by how quickly something moves in comps. I know a lot of resellers, a lot of YouTubers talk about how quickly we can flip something where you look in, you know, you put the item into a search and then you look at how many are listed, then you look at how many are sold and how quickly they sold. Now we don't want to sit on items forever, but I'm long tail. People get nervous when they hear how much inventory I'm sitting on, but guys, I sell every day. So my stuff is constantly revolving. So you may see that I have 3,500 listings, but they're not the same 3,500 listings. I'm turning over my whole store probably in about 14 to 16 months, which again might be very long for some people, but the profit I'm making at the end of the day is all I'm concerned with. I don't care what I'm picking up, you know, as long as it's legal and moral. I don't care. I don't care if an item sits there two months or eight months. It makes no difference to me with the type of volume I have. I'm not looking to turn over my whole store, you know, in 60 days or 90 days. I love being a long tail seller and I will stay a long tail seller probably for the rest of my life. Now, hopefully when I'm 80, I'm shipping things like postcards or something a little bit lighter than all the craziness I deal with. But being a long tail seller is the model that works perfectly for me. So yes to items that have good branding, but I'm not gonna look up every comp for every model of what I have. Next up is a Pottery Barn. Uh, see if the light will. These are wine stoppers or bottle stoppers. Cloisonne, I think we say that. C-L-O-I-S-O-N-N-E. Cloisonne is a, um, it's almost like an enameled, a paint enameled technique. Hope you guys can see this. I'm going to actually take this out of the box. I'm going to open this box so you can see what this is because the light is doing us no favors today. I'm going to pull this one out. Okay, can you guys see that? So it's, it's a bottle stopper. So pretty. So we have a butterfly and a dragonfly. Do I think these are gonna sell? 100%. Did I look up a comp? Nope, because I paid, what did I pay for this guy? No price sticker. I believe I paid $3, two ninety seven, and um, right around there if that's not accurate. But I said yes, Pottery Barnes boxes are a very distinct cream color. 
once you learn that color, it's almost like learning a Tiffany box. You can see it very far away. So I have taught myself to spot the Pottery Barn cream colored box from, from miles away. And I go right over and I put it in my cart almost always. I don't think I've ever turned down a Pottery Barn item, not that I can remember. Now again, some of them move quite slow, but at the end of the day, I feel like this is always a good value if I can buy in at a couple of dollars. The next item, I didn't recognize the name. I was like, what is that? And you can see I paid $4 for it. This is a table banner and it's for baby celebrations. Let's see if it has a good picture. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. Will that focus on that? So this is the motif. It is a linen, I believe. Let's see if it says it. Polyester cotton, 32 by 74. So I thought this was great. Like I said, $4. Will it sell tomorrow? Probably not. I mean, that would be great. But I figured this is a good solid $25. I will comp it, and if all of the comps are much lower, then naturally I'll price it accordingly. Or I might put it in the consignment store because I feel like there are enough babies being celebrated that this item should move. So I said yes to this. This next item, I find this wood type of item quite often. I find this in trays, I find this in wall decor, and I find it in, if you find the garbage cans, the trash cans, those are good money if you have a good motif. So I paid $2.99 for this. This is a, I'm gonna call this kind of like a shell pink and gold. It is vintage and it says, um, Nashco products made in Italy expressly for New York. So it's an Italian tray. Stand back. Oh, this light is killing me today. How's that? Can we see that? Um, and I said yes to this. They are made out of wood. There's a name to this. It's not Sirocco. I think that's a brand name. I'll have to look it up. If I find it, I'll put it on the screen. And I always say yes to these products. So if you find, they're almost like they're carved and they're gold, they usually come in like peach, pink, I've seen aqua, blue, green, and yellow. I think those are the colors I've seen, sometimes white too. I always say yes to this type of product and they're always made in Italy, so you wanna pick these up. This item, no idea what I have here. I mean, I know what it is. It is a utensil on Corral and it is put out by Cutco. And I believe, if I can show that, I believe Cutco is the company that makes knives and utensils and whatever. I paid $2 for it. No idea, guys. I mean, this could only be worth $2. I will see, but I took a chance on it. I threw it in my cart. I thought the wood was nice. I think somebody's gonna want this. And Cutco, they have customer service. It's made in USA. I believe the knives bring uh, good money off Cutco. So I said yes to this. The next item that I found is something that I like to look at. Anytime I see a well-made glasses case, I pick it up off the shelf and I do this to see if the glasses are in there. So this is D&G, Dolce & Gabbana. I don't know if this case is real, and unless I'm positive, I don't list anything that's highly branded, you know, that's a high-end brand on eBay, because you can very easily get, you know, a Vero and I protect my store. But what was interesting to me is what glasses were in the case. I love selling glasses. These are Brooks Brothers, and they are a sunglasses frame with prescription lenses. The minute I held these, I could tell the quality that this was quality. You know, at first, I was hoping that all of this was real. It was real, you know, D&G and real glasses. And when you open it, and you find Brooks Brothers, you would think in your mind, you're gonna be like, oh, I wish it was. But I almost like better that it's Brooks Brothers and it's a good frame and it's prescription and somebody will want this almost more unless you're positive it's the D&G, if all of that makes sense. So most likely I will not list this on eBay, but I will list these. I don't believe Brooks Brothers glasses, prescription frame glasses are you know heavily copied and this has all the proper markings. You know, it has all of the hardware marked. So yes to good brand prescription eyeglass frames in a maybe knockoff 
luxury brand case, if that makes sense. So I paid, what did I pay for this? $7. So I'm paying $7 for these. Hopefully this will bring $30 to $35. Did I run comps? I did not. So maybe Brooks Brothers doesn't, you know, their glasses, um, I should say their frames won't bring high money. But I'm convinced that I can get $7 and profit back out of this. Now, when I say and profit for something I'm unsure about, I don't want to make $10. I won't do it for that kind of profit. But in my mind, if I say, okay, bottom line, I should be able to get 25 on seven, I'm okay with that. So that's when I go ahead and take a chance. I don't take the time to look up Brooks Brothers uh, frame glasses. Brooks Brothers is a very good brand. They have nice quality. And this little case, I'll either donate back or I'll use it myself or, you know, we'll go that route if I'm unsure. If I can authenticate that it's a case, it's now a D&G case is not gonna bring the money the glasses would, but still, I will do quick research on it and see if I can figure out if it's genuine. If it is genuine, I might sell it local. So that's what the condition is or the story is with glasses that are differently branded from the case that you pick up that you kind of don't know what you have. Am I confusing the heck out of you guys today or what? But I like to share the way my brain thinks and it's scary, uh, scary brain, but I think it's interesting the way our brains figure things out and the patterns that we create and are successful with. So that's what I do and it works. All right, I have two last items. One I'm gonna walk back and get off the wall and talk about why I picked that up. So hang on one second. Okay, can we see this? Make sure I'm holding it right. This is a garden wreath. You know, it's all, it's all faux flowers, all fake flowers. It has a clay pot in it with a little bird's nest, uh, geraniums and a few little daisy type flowers. And it's all built on a grapevine wreath. And what did I pay for this? I paid $4. Now, I would use this on my front door, but right now I have plenty of wreaths, yes, that I bought all at thrift stores. I don't think I've bought one new wreath probably my whole life, maybe. I've made a few, but I shoot a picture of it. And this one I sent to Lisa and said, hey, do you want this? And she said, absolutely. So even if we don't use this decor, this just gets pulled off and you have the grapevine wreath base to build on and it's worth $4. So I said yes to this, but I think this wreath is really pretty and I pick up a lot for other people that I know. So I will always shoot pictures to friends and I often shop. So I'm kind of like a personal shopper for a few people also. But when you find things this reasonable in different thrift stores, why not, right? So I said yes. Okay, we're ready for the last item, which I'm not sure where I'm selling this, but you know, saw it in my cart, on the shelf in my cart. You know me, I do that with quite a few items. Is a magazine holder. And this thing is solid wood. It is gorgeous. Now it does have some damage on the feet. Uh, I don't know if that's an animal chewing. And it is missing one of its little, little feet protector, foot protector things. Well, it only has one. It's not missing one, it's missing three. But I thought this was very good Somebody's gonna want this. I'll probably ship this on eBay. Guys, I used to use USPS to ship all of my heavy items, but when the rates kept going up and up and the dimensional weight thing happened, I ship all of my heavy, larger hard goods. Larger meaning anything bigger than a cubic foot, which is 12 by 12 by 12. That's the finished size of your box. I ship FedEx. So now I do have to drive to FedEx a couple of times a week. It's not so horrible. I work it into my routine. It's about probably about 10 to 15 minutes from my house. And uh, luckily it's on the way to a whole shopping area that I go to. So I said yes to this. And what did I pay for you? I'm not sure, I'm gonna sing it. What did I pay for you? I don't know, I think I paid I'm going to say four or five dollars. It was inexpensive. And I said, that's crazy. I will take that. And I'm guessing probably 45 to 60. Pure guess. Maybe more towards the $40 mark because the feet have damage. But it sits straight. And I said yes to this and thought it was a great find. 
All right, I'm going to stop this video here because I don't want it to go on too long. And I will do another video of the clothing and just show you why I picked things up, my crazy way of thinking. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe and go out and get what's yours. Bye guys.